guys, this is a little video covering our DABs. So in the DAB box, you're gonna get our DAB here. This has a little like a USB cord in it, plugs into here, and this one plugs into one of our USBs coming out of our, our unit. Other end has an antenna port that plugs into here for our antenna. Now the antenna, it's like a stick on type. So pretty much all cars are gonna be the same. You're gonna have to pop off the trim on here. And actually that's a type that's not super uh, like common. This is like a extended sort of nut type. So it just needs a socket. So 732 if we can keep on filming now. So these here are gonna be the same on all cars. Like normally uh, under here they just screw. So you pop off that first little bit and you pop off these. This is a, like a BT50. These are, I've actually seen these ones board. These are just hex screws like that. The socket on the top, that was like a 732. But the same process is always gonna be the same. If your car has like airbags on the side, that's not a problem either. What like detonates the uh, airbags is the uh, like sensor, which is not located up in this trim anyway. Yeah, just be careful like around it. Now the trim tools you get in our kit, but majority of the time with these, you can actually just get your hand in here. And like wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then they pull out from like the bottom. So that's your trim come out there. So always follow the cable track. So we'll put this a cable in this like same one and we'll tape to it. This is especially important on the airbag models because obviously our airbag models, the our airbags are gonna sit here or somewhere. Oh, there's a one back here on here. So you wanna uh, like keep it in the like, factory track, very important. Now we've got to sit, stick on our thing here. So give your uh, other window a really good clean on the inside because it's a see-through thing so once you put it down it's on so we clean that up like that we open up our antenna pack pays to open these with a knife yeah don't try and tear these open just because they are cardboard keep this antenna in a reasonably good condition while it's been shipped out righty oh and this is what you end up with in here see antenna comes out like so you got two stick parts this part goes on the window this part goes on the chassis line it up so you can get some of this part on the chassis i normally just go high it's going to go about here and that's going to be all right yep once you've got the spot for it peel off your stick and obviously try and line it up fairly trade and decent if you can and just stick it down start from here and then work your way up obviously make sure you don't put it too close to the top because otherwise you'll hit the top on the way up give it a good push down like so that's your uh, dab antenna and then you want to peel the small piece off here this is a copper bit see that copper and that's going to stick on to our chassis now i'll try and tuck it sort of in here the way now again doesn't have to be perfect just as long as you got some of that a copper getting an earth that's all that that matters so that's on then obviously unroll this sometimes too your car will have like a factory dab antenna and we might start trying to include an adapter for that to see if we can get them to load so i work sometimes because that'll save you having an extra antenna and like save you some time for the install and we're all about saving time on the install so we'll see if that works on some cars the type of antenna will be will be if your car had like a uh, factory or like a DAB would kind of look like one of like those ones a Fakra antenna they call them so we pull it through like that and obviously I'm going to put it in that same cable tray which is not too important here I'm just going to make sure I get it sort of happening I've pulled the glove box out already and I'm just going to feed this through and we should hopefully get it coming out here like so and what I will do is I will actually mount uh, this here plugs into here and I will actually put this into our third USB, which was uh, so this one here. And I'm just gonna stick this up behind the glove box. So I'll leave it like, uh, so like that, because I like to test everything before we go and get too carried away. But that's basically how you put the DAB in. And then all cars are gonna be the same. Things to know, put the cable in the cable tray, clean the window uh, like first, make sure that a copper piece gets uh, like some like uh, metal contact, test it before you get too carried away, like leave it all hanging out, test the DAB, get reception, then I tidy it all up. 